Is that Smokey? Um, I should that? know that. Well, they'll, they'll chime in our ear. Okay, I good. should know. And I'm losing uh, the name in my head right now. Lou Christie? Okay. Oh, I don't know who that is. That helps me. Okay. <laughs> Stormy Morning Across. Great song, though. Stormy Morning Across the Valley, Rain Thunder, and of course, Lightning. So here we are, right in the thick of the Arizona monsoon. We've seen the power of lightning strikes. Sometimes they set houses on fire. Yeah, we've seen that plenty of time. Yeah. Uh, damage to transformers, then, you know, knocking out power. Not to mention, uh, it can kill people yeah, as well. People. Mm -hmm. So how do you protect your property from a lightning strike? Courtney is live now checking out lightning protection systems with a third generation uh, Arizonan with this company. Courtney, what do you have? Oh, third generation, didn't know that. Yeah, so we're at Hart & Associates. I have Lowell Hart here with me, 51 years in business. And guys, this is very interesting stuff. If you want to protect your home from getting possibly struck by lightning, you want this lightning rod here. It's really cool how it all works. So I'm going to bring Lowell in. Talk a little bit about how you guys install this. Well, the, uh, uh, the, the systems are installed by, the, we have governing bodies, Underwriter Laboratories, National Fire Board Protection Agency tell us the codes and standards which we have to follow, okay? And so we, we develop a set of drawings from, you take your residence or your commercial building, we develop a set of drawings so that we can install the lightning protection system to provide a safe path to ground for a lightning strike if one occurs. Uh, your average lightning bolt is about a million volts, 100,000 amps. We have to take the energy from the top of the house or structure, whatever it is, and safely down to ground and dissipate it in the ground in about a tenth of a second. And that's about how long it takes you to blink your eyes. That is crazy. And you think, you know, it's not going to be my house that gets struck by lightning, but you just never know. Yeah, it, it's, you know, you're, it's the odds. You know, you, you can get struck. Uh, I have lightning protection system on my house, yes. <laughs> I'm in the business. <laughs> my next door neighbor does not, but, you know, it's okay. You know, it just depends on uh, whatever your risk you desire. Um, we do a lot of homes, a lot of residential homes, a lot of commercial buildings, government facilities, hospitals. All your major hospitals here in town have lightning protection systems on them so that they don't have a surge of energy inside the hospital and cause damage to the electrical system, to, uh, telephone systems, uh, energy management systems, things of that nature. Yeah, well, it's a really good idea to protect yourself. And you were saying anybody can do it, even a, a mobile home, or what did you say, a cactus even you yeah, installed? Well, many, it's, this was back in the 70s. Uh, a lady wanted her saguaro cactus protected out in Sun City. <laughs> and uh, we call that the sticky job. Uh, but we it, it is pretty sticky. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this. We have the plate. This is the rod. You can either do copper or aluminum. aluminum. Yeah. Well, there's two types of uh, materials that are uh, that are allowed by code. You can either have copper materials or you can have aluminum materials. Uh, aluminum. Now, does it make a difference? Uh, no, they both conduct electricity. Aluminum's about 20 to 25 percent cheaper okay. than copper. Okay. But anything that goes in the ground has to be copper. So we can have aluminum on the roof and then we come down the side of the building, but we have to transition from aluminum to copper in the ground we have, so we can dissipate the energy. This happens to be a ground plate right here that we bury in the ground uh, to help dissipate that energy. And then you have your air terminals, then you have the bases, you have a cable, put everything together, and you take it down the ground, and then you're good to go. Very cool. Let's talk a little bit about costs. For an average home, how much would it cost somebody? If you take about a, you know, you could start at like about a 12, 1500 square foot home. You're probably in a neighborhood about 2500 to $3,000. Uh, we've done some homes out in Paradise Valley uh, where the homes are 40 or 50,000 square feet and they're about 40 or $50,000. Awesome. Okay. And how can people get a hold of you? Pardon me? How can people get a hold of you? Oh, we have our website. We got, uh, our, we're in the yellow pages, phone books. We're a licensed, bonded, registered contractor, state of Arizona. Uh, like I say, we've been in for 51 years. And uh, the Hart family actually been here since the late 1880s. Ah, so okay. We're the locals. We're locals. So people know you. All right, well, better safe than sorry, guys. You think it might not happen to you, but hey, I was at a lightning strike earlier with a power pole. I've covered a home, I think, in Gilbert that was struck by lightning. You just yeah. never know. So it happens. Uh, I like the copper one better than the aluminum, That's I think. good luck, yeah. yeah. He says it looks better, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good. Well, thank Mr. Hart Thanks, for talking with Courtney. us today. Courtney, good stuff. Okay.